So you wanna start taking creatine, but don't know how much, what time of day, should you load it, how long can you take it for? Well, fear not, because in this video, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about taking creatine. How's it going guys? My name is Richie Kerwin and I'm a nutritionist and nutrition researcher at Liverpool John Moores University and you're watching the My Protein YouTube channel. This is the channel that brings you need to know info on how to fuel your body and train to be your strongest self. In my last video I spoke about what creatine is and why you might want to take it. Here's a quick recap. It's magic and if you want to get the most out of your training you probably should be taking it. In this video we're going to talk all about creatine, how to take it, how much, when and for how long, because there seems to be a lot of confusing information out there about creatine dosage. So we'll try and clear all of that up. We'll also talk about some of the side effects of creatine and why you probably don't need to worry about them. Finally, I'll give you a little tip on the best type of creatine to take. Let's start off with an easy one. How much should you take? I'm gonna make this as simple as possible. Three to five grams per day is all you need. Most packs of creatine powder come with a mini scoop, which measures out about five grams of creatine. One of those a day and you're golden. Now, like protein, the bigger and more muscular you are, the more creatine you may need. So very big and muscular individuals who are also very active might want to take more, maybe up to 10 grams a day. It's perfectly safe and you'll pee out the excess, so there's no need to worry about taking too much. You see, the point of supplementing with creatine is to build up the amount of creatine in your muscles until you can't increase it anymore and just maintain it from there. This is the point at which you'll get the most performance enhancing effects. And if you're taking three to five grams of creatine a day, it can take up to four weeks to fully saturate your muscles. I know some of you aren't that patient, so you can speed up the process by doing a loading phase. This just means taking a higher dose of creatine, usually 20 grams a day for a week to load your muscles with creatine. And then you drop down to three to five grams a day to maintain that level. You don't need to load, but it may help you get faster performance results. That brings me to my next point. It probably doesn't matter what time of day you take creatine, as long as you take it daily. The most important thing is you take it consistently to keep your muscles saturated with creatine all the time. That means it doesn't matter if you take it before or after a workout. It's not going to give you some sort of pre-workout boost. Just take it. Now, as amazing as creatine sounds, nothing's perfect. And while creatine is an incredibly safe supplement, which I'll talk about a little later, it does seem to have an anecdotal side effect in some people, and that's gastric distress. That's right, some people might get an upset tummy when they take creatine, even though there isn't a lot of clinical evidence to support this. While there isn't much evidence on this, there are two things you could try to reduce the effect if you notice it. Firstly, don't take creatine on an empty stomach, so save it for your meals. Secondly, try splitting your dose into smaller amounts. So if you're loading, try to divide the dose into four doses of five grams and take them at different times of the day. Another thing that people talk about a lot with creatine is weight gain. The thing is, this really isn't a problem for most people unless they have a poor relationship with the bathroom scales. People who take creatine often notice a sudden increase in weight, sometimes up to as much as two and a half kilos or even more, but that stabilizes when somebody is using it constantly. But here's the thing, it's not fat. Say it again, it's not fat. Fat. The weight gain is caused by the fact that creatine attracts water to it, mostly in the muscles. For most people, this often means that their muscles look bigger and overall they may actually look leaner. The only time that weight gain could be a real problem is if you're an athlete in a very weight sensitive sport that requires weigh-ins like boxing, or if you do a sport that requires you to be lighter to perform better, like rock climbing. In that case, you may wanna think about whether the performance benefits of creatine are worth the extra weight. And here's everyone's favorite question. How long can you stay on creatine? I've heard people talking about needing to cycle on and off creatine. The only reason people say this is because they mistakenly associate creatine with steroids. Here's the real short answer. You don't need to stop taking creatine. It's safe for long-term use. There are studies of creatine doses as high as 30 grams per day for up to five years without any problems at all. Long-term use doesn't even lead to kidney problems, which is what everybody likes to, again, mistakenly claim. 
And one final note, the vast majority of research for the benefits of using creatine is based on creatine monohydrate, which is the most common and cheapest form available. No need to worry about different forms or speed of absorption or bioavailabilities. Creatine monohydrate does exactly what it says on the tin and has the most research behind it. So did that answer your questions? As always, if you have any more, let me know in the comments and remember to like and subscribe to the MyProtein YouTube channel for more great evidence-based nutrition information.